Here we go, FC Cincinnati and the Pittsburgh Riverhounds in the last eight of the Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup in 2023. Pat Noonan's boys are so good about maintaining the game and playing the way that they want to play and understanding what's being put in front of them. Don't allow them the luxury. Baji pushes wide. Costa toward Baji. Immediately stepping in, winning the tackle, and then not necessarily spraying it themselves, but pushing it up high. Costa hangs that up. Header toward target away from Wade. Matt Miazga rising to meet it. 16 starts in the league this year. Header upward and over the top, Dequa. Dequa is through. Dequa got the shot away. It's wide. Danny Griffin in front. I told you I kind of like the, the look of a diamond. It's not that. How's that touch by Lucho Acosta? Acosta reins it in at the end line. Acosta inside. Slid away by Nate DeSanto. Closed off in a 3v1. Still almost getting the best of them. That's the first card issued tonight. You know, coming in, what they were going to chase without Albert Dequa, we didn't have to worry about that because you end up getting him in squad selection, as is Robbie Mertz available and in the 11. Vasquez maintained so beautifully. Biasi. Kept it from Vasquez, that was short-lived, and now endeavoring Cincinnati powerfully across midfield. Acosta tackled from behind by Biasi. He's after it. Murphy, shoulder to shoulder crash. Elvis Osmanovic has shown a yellow card. Largely shut that down tonight. Slipping through, finding Wobido, bypassing at two. Wobido, Baji, seeking Vasquez. Wobido is a human eraser. That's a card to Baji. Around the outside, Vasquez, Vasquez turned away. And with Baji chasing, the weight spillage sent over the end line. Slow in rotation to chase down Lucho Acosta. Notice the reach, and he recognizes that quick acceleration by the 10, moving down, of course, the 97-minute winner and a one-nothing loss didn't help, but it was a screamer. Yeah, though. it was it was job well done for the majority of it. Whoa, good effort by Griffin. It came out of nowhere. A ball ricocheted right to him, and he swings it wide of the post. If your greatest concern tonight is Lucho Acosta, why wouldn't you, Harmon? Whoa, but oh. Acosta, accosted. That is not a common theme for Bob Lilly. And halftime arrives. Same story as it was last year in the opening round of the Open Cup for FC Cincinnati. Nil-nil at the intermission for FC Cincinnati. Here come changes. So Hagelin comes out defensively for FC Cincinnati. And it's Yerson Moscaro who comes on in his stead. Canardo Forbes will come on for Robbie Mertz, who went down in the 41st minute and had been dealing with an injury. Fans here taking on the sights and sounds. That's uh, Chief and Schwai sitting in the midst of the uh, club level here tonight. The Bailey is only $5.13. Without a win, it was always a difficult, tough sled. Second in the East, Baji. Baji flying, firing, waits, hangs on. Fleet of foot is not exactly in the scouting report anymore. That'll find Acosta. Slipped ahead, Baji, now it's Vasquez! Brandon Vasquez for FC Cincinnati! 
10 minutes into the half, puts the home side ahead. And could they reach their first semi-final since that flaunted run from the lower divisions? Pay credit to Lucho Acosta, that touchback across. That is really close. Now the question would be here, is Dominique Baggi, I'll be really clear, I'll just say it, if there's VAR, it's an offside. It's not even a question, because he's in an offside position, and he touches the ball and affects the run of play. But there is no VAR, and great job by Brandon Vasquez. And Alvaro Barreal come in, that's it for Gaddis and Baggi. Baggi was granted the assist on the goal. It's such short a distance, especially with the pace that Danny Griffin's got come all the way back around the ball, near impossible. Yuya Kubo. Boreal. Kubo. Vasquez. He has a goal tonight. The goal tonight. Kubo. Acosta. Slitter, slitters through. Acosta continues. Offered back to Boreal. Watch out, Moreno. That's blocked. Teams back down. Contact to the head. His vision, man. Mascara. He'll take that space. Turning. Kubo. Corner. USL Championship all-time leader in stitches. Yep. I've seen this. <laughs> but, but, not, but not minutes lost, because he just comes back onto the field. Correct. Sumanu and Lopez. That's uh, enough for Biasi, who played about 40 minutes on a yellow card. He certainly had his work cut out for him, didn't he? He obviously didn't make it easier on him. Been around these cup competitions before. The less you see an opponent, the more those those tweaks where you go, I've never seen that before. No, yeah. It's... And then you're thinking, have they ever even done it before? If Cincinnati hang on, they'd see the winner of tomorrow's Birmingham and Inner Miami game will be played in Alabama. Kubo, Barreal. by Ordonia. When you come up high with the ability to drop down in, the diagonal is going to be Cincinnati's best friend. Kubo in entertaining dribble. Mosquera swings it outside. Harmon. Because then all of a sudden there's more room to operate underneath. You know, it's that long stretch, but then combo when you come back. Barreal got under that! Oh! What a goal for FC Cincinnati! appearances in his career and now 15 goals to his name but when you can hit something as splendid and as true as this why waste your efforts on the minuscule when the grandeur await just floats it to the top of the box look at Wade's face just removed the hopes and dreams out of every hound player and fan with one stroke of the left foot. Do you really want to put Lucho out there given all he had accomplished in the league? He wanted to play. He loves this tournament. And he leaves two goals up. A semifinal is very much in reach now for FC Cincinnati. Zero draws in all competitions. That's 9-0-0 in MLS play. Fastest to 39 in MLS history through 16 games and talked about adjustments that had to be made and how are they going to be good and all he wanted them to do was find a way to band together and grind through results that when things weren't going that well for you the answer is yes and now they've taken it and run with it so that you can take Matt Miazga off in the 80th minute of an open cup quarter final 
FC Cincinnati knows a thing or two about that 2018 and that team they put out. Sure. Ball slid ahead for showing me and showing out. How odd the schedule, by the way, this year. Ibarra. That's ushered through. Forbes. It's all closed down around him. And served up toward Osamanu. That's going to drop atop the six. Turning shot away from Joe and me. And hit on the first time. That's some real Boreal stuff. Header forward once more. Bouncing can. Plucks it over the top of Show and me. They're playing a game in three days or less. Ninth time. That's absurd. And yeah. yet they're unbeaten. 6 0 and 2. Kubo! Wait. Boreal. The fans want to see an encore. That header is up and over the top of weight. Five added minutes. Kubo hurt himself on the back side of it. Dos Santos, the back three, they've started to get wider. It'll be 12 unbeaten all competitions for Cincinnati. The longest active span in American soccer. Barreal sweeps inside, maintains still, and wins a corner. Lost off, it'll be Barreal to take the corner. Swings, header stepped in! That is a vicious header from Arias! And FC Cincinnati is running on to the semifinal. Cincinnati's first appearance in the penultimate round since 2017. That's whipped in here, just curling away right at the top of the six. Goalkeeper knows that you can't chase in that situation. And if you're Audius, you're just drifting off the back shoulder. Good little move to the inside. Joey Farrell's marked up for Brandon Vasquez. Watch him attack this thing. Just right into the upper corner. X marks the spot, and his first goal for FC Cincinnati to push them through. Alas, it's Cincinnati who did it for the brand tonight. Forbes slid through here. The shot is on and in. Tala showing me. Showing something in stoppage time for Pittsburgh. King Kenny, watch this move. The little spray back. How's this touch? The touch back across. And then the deflection. A bit unfortunate to be fair for FC Cincinnati. Bardell. That's offside. And that's full time. FC Cincinnati, a 3-1 win over the Pittsburgh River House.